What's up guys? Today we're going to be learning about Full Stack Open, which is a course provided by the University of Helsinki. It gets you to learn React Full Stack web development skills with a mastery type of teaching so you don't proceed before you get your uh, prior exercises done and completed. Thus, you will learn the real life skills by building projects and solving problems in this course. It's no tutorial help because it's all a code snippets and a reading. So if you're into that kind of learning, now let's get into tech. So guys, here we are, and uh, we're looking at the full stack open uh, front page quickly. Frequently asked questions, prerequisites, see here. Uh, so computer programming, some little JavaScript. I would say the more JavaScript you know, the better. Uh, here they say that you should be doing about 100 and 200 hours practice of uh, programming so you understand the logic so you don't have to, you're not going to be stumbling on the basic stuff here because the course is going quite fast. Yeah, just uh, I would say no JavaScript and uh, when you do know the basics, you can jump into this thing. So um, you basically just uh, click on the start course. And uh, here's the general idea. And there's uh, the partners are listed, Houston Inc. and a bunch of Finnish companies, uh, Unity and uh, more Finnish companies. So these actually do uh, have partnership and they employ people that complete the course. Uh, but there's a small caveat. As far as I know, they have to be Finnish. So if you're not Finnish, you're not guaranteed to get a job, but you're definitely going to learn stuff that makes you hireable. And uh, the uh, it's uh, this course is done by the uh, computer science department of the University of Helsinki. So how this works? And um, actually, they have a Discord which you can join and join the community there. Uh, so you basically just start from the fundamentals, go in intro, go to server fundamentals and Node.js, express testing, React app testing, advanced state management, React routers, hoax stylings with CSS and Webpack, GraphQL, TypeScript, React Native, CICD workflows, containers, and relational databases. So everything you need to know for full stack web development, and uh, basically, the idea is mastery. So you go through the stuff on part one, part zero, and uh, general info is just general info. Um, if you are a student of the University of Helsinki, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they explain the how to take the course and go to Discord or Telegram. And yeah, so that's that. Then you start with the fundamentals of web apps. So it's just the basic uh, stuff about uh, web development. If you know these things, you should probably fly through this section. And they do have an exercise. So you have exercises and projects on this. And when you complete the exercise, you put it into GitHub for review and so on. So that's how this thing works. So you have to know all these skills and you have to learn them if you don't know them. So then it goes to React, there's intro, and again, you can see exercises. And you, then, you, then you go to uh, JavaScript part. So there's more about just JavaScript fundamentals. And then you go to components. And again, just the coding along or just uh, you can actually copy code these but you have to understand them because all the exercises then again are going to be using what you have just learned so that's how the entire course works kind of like uh it's kind of like the uh mm, a free code camp but this is way bigger as you learn all these things and you shouldn't be moving up to the next part until you have mastered what's in the other part. So it's a very, very uh, long course to take. 
but definitely worth it. And I know people who have done it, and I have some um, testimonials that I can tell you about afterwards. And they actually, in this course, they actually do tell you how to, uh, how to, uh, put what, uh, what expansions to extensions to use on your VS code and how to set them up and, and all that stuff. So it's a very, very, very hands-on course, but there's no videos. So you don't get into the, let's buy the 10 euro course or $10 course, and then just watch five minutes of it. This is just another way of learning and uh, it makes you makes you when you read you have to understand and and you can copy these codes and then see how they work on your environment and uh, you kind of learn from that and then you have to build the exercises and build the apps so here you're gonna do the uh continue developing a phone book that was fire already in the prior thing and and all that so these kind of follow a certain thing and you end up with a big project that you can show in the end and i think there's many of them actually i'm not sure because again i'm not a full stack with develop, developer but i know that this course works and i know that it's awesome and like i'm going to tell you sure soon uh about the testimonials i'll uh, I'll highly recommend this kind of learning. And yeah, it's a you have a university backing it up. I know a lot of people are not happy about how universities nowadays work, but this is I think this is the next great example on how universities should work. So yeah. And uh so React, Redux, Node, Mongo, GraphQL, TypeScript in one go. So I don't know. What are you waiting for? Just get to it. And now let's learn about some testimonials. So here is one of the testimonials from my friend Adam Richard Turner in uh, X, who has gone through this and currently works as a web developer in London, England. So I asked him uh, what he would rate the course because I knew that he had taken it. We have discussed it earlier. And he said he would rate it a 10. And it's not a beginner's course. Uh, you should have at least 100 hours programming experience. So you know the logic and whatnot. So you're not going to be stuck on the fundamental things. And like they said, they, like I showed you, there's JavaScript parts. So you're going to be learning those, but it's going to be quite fast paced. Or you can take it as slow as you want. You kind of have to know these things before advancing. He said it's a high quality course. Uh, the core part is uh, written by Professor Matti Lukkanen. It's quite advanced at some time, so you gotta be learning those, mastering the previous skills. You cannot just jump around on this course. So, for his personal perspective, it, it got him building full stack web applications, where before I, he could only build front end and fairly simple interfaces. Really, this really elevated my skill set and got me confident in exploring more advanced tools and techs. Remember, guys, this dude is working as a web developer in London. I would say, which is not the easiest place to get a job in tech. So, yeah, reach out to Adam in, in X if you don't uh, un, uh, believe this testimony. But yeah, it's uh, like you can see, it's an, it's not a screenshot. It's actually on my X. So, without further ado, here's the proof. It works. People learn from it. People get jobs after taking it. So it's kind of like I would, I would learn about free code camp stuff, and then after you've mastered the free code camp or maybe the Odin project, this is kind of like the Odin project, but cooler. It's constantly maintained, so it's not. Uh, there's no. Uh, Odin project is kind of more like an open source thing. So there's more uh, maintenance going on with this full stack open web development course. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Okay, guys, so now you have seen the full stack open course, how it works, 
and you have seen some testimonials now all you have to do is click the link down in in the description and click the start course button and you are on your way to be a full stack web developer this course covers all that you need to be job ready but remember you have to master those sections do not skip do not take shortcuts because that's going to be a disaster but yeah now you know so why don't you go and get into tech